Welcome back to Phase Paradox. We're presented with a selection of these three different characters to play as. At least I think that's what we're doing. Um, I'm assuming that we'll come back to the other characters. So I don't think it's going to change the course of the game, which one I choose. Just, you know, decides which order I do them in, probably. Uh, but let's go with Renee first. Let's go through the emergency transport hatch. Good idea. No one but Dact has access to it, so the Fages won't be in there. Let's do it. This may be the last choice we make, so let's make it a good one. Let's move out. So how's my young's arm doing, huh? So, how's my young's body doing, huh? You can't be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor, but we've got to get out of here now. No, I can't leave. Doctor, please. Come on. Stand up. My young. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, get a hold of yourself. We don't have time for this. But I, I can't. I, I can't. We've got to get going. Snap out of it, Patty. Let's go. Get out of here before any more of those things find us. How's the captain doing? Doctor, is she all right? Have you figured out whether or not she's the receptor? I won't be certain until I've completed the examination. In order to revive her, we're going to need to replace the broken unit. There should be one in the medical tool storage room. I'll go get it. You're in charge. Take care of everyone. Right. Just make sure you watch your back. All right. I'm counting on you. I won't be long. Be careful! Alright, storage. Uh, oh wow, look at that. It looks like everything's unlocked. This is a dead end, right? Yes. Alright, I guess we go in everything. I'm not sure which one's medical storage. This looks like a huge bulkhead with a little sort of medic symbol on it. Are there supplies behind it? Oh, whoa. Hello? Danley? He's dead? Uh, 
I'm sorry. No. Don't kiss a corpse, it's weird. I have no idea who that person is. Oh, cutscene? Here we go. So it was one of these smaller buildings. Yep, 205A. She picks up uh, an extremely heavy looking thing. And then proceeds to sprint. he here? Captain, let me explain. If he's here, then he's a Fage. Captain, don't! I have to. We have no way of knowing when he'll go mad. If he does, I'll take care of it. Stop right there! Don't move! A Fage cannot revert back to a human being. I understand that. But until I develop the symptoms, I want to live every moment I can. I want to help Patty. Doctor, this is your decision, but we have no idea what's going to happen. Trust me, I'll take full responsibility. Doctor, there's not much time. Yes, Isla, I'm aware of that. Captain, I know you want to shoot me, but please grant me a little time. So, how's the analysis going? Thank you. It's positive. Captain Misho is definitely the receptor. I created a simulation adding the captain's data to the data we already had, so now we know. That's great, Doctor, but what does it mean? It means we were very close to having a devastating situation. The result of the simulation is right over here. The moment they find a receptor, the organelles cease to exist, fulfilling their function, causing the server to generate a shockwave, just as 220 did. It means the server in the hangar is 220 itself. That's unbelievable. Wait a minute. If she is the receptor, then why doesn't she explode like 220 did? Why are the organelles still around? Because Captain Misho is in a coma. Her brain is not functioning in a conscious state. The moment she wakes up, the information will be transmitted to the server. The server will perceive a successful organism and then explode. Just like 220 did. So you're telling me it'll happen again? Yes, it will. And this time, it will happen in the launching area on this ship. This can't be happening. Doctor, has this information been confirmed? Then the first thing we have to do is destroy that server. But destroying the server won't do anything. Why? Why not? Because without the server, the receptor's awakening cannot be detected. If that happens, we'll never be able to destroy the organelle. All right, so what are we supposed to do? The lieutenant and the sergeant will destroy the server just after she awakes. Do you think it'll work? I mean, do they have a chance? There's a time lag before the server explodes. It's not much, but it's all they've got. Okay. How do they know Continue all with of the this? Resuscitation. <sighs> Captain, this doesn't feel right at all. What the hell is that? Here you go, Yuma. Just relax, alright? So, <laughs> anything? Oh my god. Nothing so far. That is a BFG. Well, well, speak of the devil. Here they come. Fire! Yes! What's that? Where did Renee's weapon come from? Where did they get that thing? Oh no! 
no! Keep trying! It's no good! Our guns have no effect! Hurry up! You better revive Captain Misho fast! I don't think we can hold them off for much longer! Not yet! We're so close! <sighs> Hurry! Captain! Procedure worked. The captain is awake! Isla, are you sure? I can't believe it. Did it work? Yes! The receptor is awake! Hopefully that's the kill signal. So, was that the... Yuma, what was that? The Lieutenant! This is the medical area, Lieutenant, can you read me? This is the medical area, Lieutenant! Please respond! Yuma, is that you? Can you hear me? Yes, it's me! Lieutenant, did you destroy it? What happened to the server? It's been terminated. Ugh, oh, Jude. Listen, Captain Misho is all right now, so is the doctor. Yes, I know. It's all over now, isn't it? Our new assignment was to wait until the relief ship arrived. 
The situation is now over. Even the highly efficient Wyburn team was helpless in this battle. I've got to remember this one for any big assignments coming up. Somehow I managed to survive. But tomorrow is another story. No. I shouldn't be worrying about that. Right now I have to get some sleep. Tomorrow will come, no matter what happens. Huh. They really just, like, decided they just wanted to end the game and then it just stopped. Okay, so it looks like you actually don't get to play as the other characters. You basically, I, I guess you're choosing which one you want to take to the end. So, obviously I definitely want to go back and, and play as the other characters. Let's do that. Can I... Oh, crap. <laughs> I just loaded state. Whoops. Uh, hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I made my way back here. But sure didn't make it easy. I had to load from a save and then do like five minutes of cutscenes to get here. But I made sure to make a, a good save state for this, for later, to go to the third character. Um, I feel like Jude's storyline is probably going to be kind of the most final one, because he's the one that blows it up. So let's go for Isla. And then end with Jude. What about the emergency transport hatch? Good idea. No one but Dak has access to it, so the Fages won't be in there. Then it's settled. This may be the last choice we make, people. So let's make it a good one. Now move out. <laughs> All right. I'm counting on you. I won't be long. Be careful. All right, is this where stuff starts to diverge? I'll create a simulation by adding her data to the data we compiled in the yes. lab. If Captain Misho is the receptor, we'll get the answers we've been looking for, won't we? Yes, we will, Isla, but only if we can confirm that she is the receptor. Well, I hope she is then. I'm supposed to do something? Hit buttons? Walk two feet and then initiate another cutscene? Okay. Doctor, how's the examination going? I can't find anything abnormal, but her brainwave frequency is unusually high. The human brain can't sustain a coma without some level of trauma, but there's none here. That's amazing. So it's possible. If I increase the variable to infinity and insert the data from the organelle, the simulation should be complete. Increase the variable to infinity. This what? is incredible. The renewal of upgraded data is so fast that it's equal to the speed of the gallant supercomputer. Doctor! The lieutenant and the sergeant are back! So they brought back the weapons. Lieutenant! Sorry we took so long. Yeah, but it was worth it. Dr. Park was attacked. Oh no. So we got here too late. All that effort to bring these back and... How's the simulation going? We just got the results. It's as we suspected. Captain Misho is the receptor. I see. Doctor, the lieutenant and the sergeant brought the weapons. Doctor, what exactly is going on with the captain? Right now, her brain is reorganizing with accelerated velocity. What do you mean, reorganizing? A change is evident in the cerebral information relay substance. She's definitely the receptor. Which means that if she is the successful organism... Doctor, what's wrong? Of course! What is it? What have you found? Why didn't I see it before? The function of the organelle is to find a receptor. Once they've done that, they cease to exist. 
The server then generates a shockwave, just as it did on 220. But what does it mean? In other words, the server itself is 220. Wait a minute. If Captain Misho is the receptor, then why hasn't there been an explosion? The server should have generated the shockwave by now, right? No, because she is in a coma state. Her brain is not functioning on a conscious level. The instant she awakens, the information will be sent to the server. Once a success organism is perceived, then the server will generate a new shockwave and will explode. They must have evolved by continually changing their form through combustive mutation. What am I gonna do? I can't leave Nicola like this, but if we revive her, the ship will explode and we'll all die. Doctor, will the explosion happen simultaneously with the captain's awakening? The server's processing capacity has a limit. According to the simulation, there will be a time gap of 720 seconds. I've got an idea. The doctor and I will proceed with the resuscitation work. Meanwhile, the lieutenant and the sergeant can go to the launching area. And during the time gap, they can destroy the server. We take advantage of the time lag before the shock wave. 720 seconds. What do you say, Sergeant? You up to it? 12 minutes? Why not? Let's do it. Yuma, I'm leaving this with you. All right, Lieutenant. It's pretty heavy. Can you handle it? Uh, sure. Don't worry, it's easy. Just be careful not to get your hair scorched with the plasma when you fire it. Take care of the doctor and the others. Okay, let's do it. Right. Well, that explains where they got the gun from. Doctor, Isla, watch yourselves. Thank you. You be careful, too. <laughs> walk, <laughs> walk two feet and initiate another gutscene. Doctor. Yuma, you look like you've seen a ghost. What's wrong? I can't explain it. Dr. Park! <gasps> My young! Sorry, it's me. Dr. Park, we saw you, but you were... No, she's wrong! She has to be wrong! She's right. I'm sorry, but I'm a phage now. Oh, My young! Don't get any closer to the doctor! Yuma, hold it! What do you mean, hold it? Dr. Park is a phage! He's dangerous! Please, don't shoot him. Oh, my young, what happened? It attacked me. I have no recollection of that moment, but I do remember the organelle, and I know what it turned me into. I, I thought Fages didn't know they were a Fage, and now they do know they're a Fage. Why are we hesitating? Wait, oh, don't you understand? He might recover if we can destroy the server. Doctor, get a grip on yourself. You know damn well what happens once you develop the Fage symptoms. Right now, we have to concentrate on Captain Misho. No, he's different from the other ones. I know he is. He's not different. The chance of him harming us is extremely high. Please, you don't understand. You're the one who doesn't understand, Doctor. No! Patty, please, the Ensign is right. There's no telling when I'll go mad, and it might cause the failure of Captain Misho's resuscitation. Ensign, listen to me. When the symptoms start to show, I let Patty shoot me. My young! Let me help with the resuscitation work. Let me be with Patty a little while longer. Is this shoot my young or don't? What's yes? What does that do? Let him go. I'll take the responsibility. You know what you're saying? Okay, so that's... Everything's okay. So what if I say no? Do they just shoot my young? And then what happens? I guess then we end up dying from the um, organelle later? Dr. Park, please step outside. All right, Henson. I'll do what you want. But first, please, let me say goodbye to Patty. It won't take long. My young, what are you saying? Patty, the time we shared together was the happiest of my entire life. Don't, my young, please. Thank you for everything. My young, don't leave me. Yuma, do you really have to shoot the doctor? 
The most important thing for us now is to succeed in reviving Captain Misho and saving the ship. You have to understand that. <laughs> she can barely carry that thing, it looks like. I brought back the unit. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, me too. The lieutenant and the sergeant brought us the weapons. Excellent. I'll stand guard outside. You guys take care. We will. You must switch guns with me. That one's too big for you. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is where we die soon afterwards from that organelle that um, Mayan in the other timeline blew up with a grenade. What do I do this time? Walk 10 feet and then initiate a cutscene? Oh, grab the thing. Yeah, ten feet. Eh, uh, maybe more like eight feet. Doctor, I've got the replacement unit. Thank you, Isla. I'll get to it in just a minute. Do you need any help fixing the equipment? No. N no I can manage. I don't need help with this thing. But, Doctor... Here they come! They're coming! So, it's no good. Our guns have no effect I, on I them. I guess she shot my young off camera. My young's dead. For much longer. Not yet. We're so close. <gasps> Hurry, Captain. What do we do now? Keep firing! Ah! No! They got inside. Yeah, so that was just a long extended death sequence. All right. Let him go. I'll take the responsibility. You know what you're saying? If and when the time comes, we will take care of Dr. Park. Doctor. Patty, please. Very well. We have no time to waste now. I'm sure you know how to use these. Foreshadowing on the grenade. Thank you, Ensign. You won't regret this. Well, we can't stand around here doing nothing. Let's get on with it. Pro everything's probably the same from here on out. Oh, I thought I would have to use the thing. Oh, wait, Renee hasn't brought the thing back yet. Look at my mind in the other timeline.
Captain! What? Why is he here? Captain, let me explain. If he's here, then he's a Fage. Yeah, so at this point, Captain, I think everything's the same, don't. so let's cut here and to. We have no go way to wherever of stuff changes. Mad. Doctor, I hate to interrupt. What is it, Isla? We haven't finished our work yet. What will happen to Captain Misho after she wakes up? At this stage, we just don't know. Doctor, hurry up! They're here. Well, that little scene was new, I think. Fire! This isn't. Oh, this is a little bit different, too. Captain Misho, let's do it. Captain Misho, it worked! The procedure worked! The captain's awake! I can't believe it. Did it work? Yes, the receptor is awake! Is that the... Yuma, what was that? The Lieutenant! This is the medical area, Lieutenant, can you read me? This is the medical area, Lieutenant! Please respond! Yuma, is that you? Can you hear me? Yes, it's me! Lieutenant, did you destroy it? What happened to the server? It's been terminated. Ugh, oh, dude. Listen, Captain Misho is alright now, so is the doctor. Yeah, I know. It's all over now, isn't it? We managed to revive the success organism, and the server was destroyed. As a result, there was an enormous amount of data available. 220, Organelle, and Phage. Unfortunately, many people were killed by an organism we know so little about. But there is no time to mourn those who were lost. The next phase of research has already begun. Like a true scientist, it's all about the data. 
It really does feel like the game just ended halfway through because they just ran out of ran out of time or budget or something. It just stops. There's like a sort of cliffhanger with that whole like Yuma, what's wrong Yuma? But like if anything happened, if anything big happened with Yuma, then surely in the sort of like outro voice from Renee and um uh, Isla, they would have said something. Instead, they say, like, you know, a life went on and we waited for a rescue ship and stuff like that. So I, I don't get it. Doesn't really seem like much of a cliffhanger. Anyway, let's load slot 9, which is where I put this save. Wait. Oh no! I. Ah, I thought I did a hard save, uh, save state back at the decision of who to choose. But um, my sort of like quick save state apparently overrode it. Whoops. All right, well, I'll be right back. All right, let's play as Jude. What about the emergency transport hatch? Good idea. No one but Dak has access to it, so there shouldn't be any Fages there. Then it's settled. This may be the last decision we make, people. Let's make it a good one. All right, move out. As soon as I see him, I'll let you know. Sergeant, don't! He's gonna get himself killed. Whoa, what's this room? Fancy technologies. This looks like a huge gun here. <laughs> Just wanted to check out some missiles. What can I do it again? Jude is really into missiles. I think I just skipped it. Wanted to stare at all the bodies. Sergeant, you okay? No. Just give me a little time, Lieutenant. All right. I'll be in the weapons depot. Meet me there.
this is where Renee was when they first uh, linked up with what the hell's his name? Muscly dude? Uh, starts with an M. Massimo or something? Massimo? the weapon room. Oh, I'm just back here, going in circles. Oh, this was the weapon room, apparently? There you are, Sergeant. It's about time. Well, this should be enough. If it's not, then we're in trouble. The homing rail gun is big. I'll carry two of them. So, Lieutenant, you take the bomb and two handrail guns. Right. Just give me a minute. Look, I know you're strong, but can you handle those? When I'm drunk, I can carry three of them. This might be too much for Yuma. <clears throat> No problem. It's supposed to be easy to handle. The weight isn't bad at all. Everything you need to wipe out the enemy. Hopefully, the organelle won't adapt to it too quickly. Then let's get it done quickly, and not do any unnecessary firing. Alright, let's go. Really love foreshadowing those grenades. So, where do we go to get out of here? Doctor, what exactly is going on with the captain? Right now, her brain is reorganizing with accelerated velocity. Make sure you come back alive. I will, Yuma. Don't worry. Doctor, please help Captain Michaud. Come on, Lieutenant, let's get this over with. You ready? I was born ready. I got a bad feeling about this. I think the 
organelle just adapted. I guess these won't do much good anymore. It won't destroy them, but it's still good for controlling them. I don't know. It might be a waste of energy. This gun is the only thing that's kept us alive so far. All right. We don't have time to argue. Let's keep going. Sergeant, did you see that? See what? This must be the place. This disgusting brain thing must be the server. <laughs> disgusting <Sergeant>? brain thing. <laughs> Come on, let's get this over Oh, crap, I accidentally loaded state. My bad. This disgusting brain thing must be the server. Sergeant? Come on, let's get this over with. Roger that, Lieutenant. Whoa! Hold it! Don't shoot, it's already adapted. Shall we begin? Yeah, go for it. Lieutenant, it's the organelle. We have no choice. We'll have to shoot. Cover me while I set this thing up. Right. when she wakes up and all the organelles go bye-bye.
So, it's begun. High energy reaction near launching area confirmed. Five minutes to critical explosion. Five minutes? Aren't there supposed to be 12? I just can't seem to get a break. Okay, stay calm. I gotta think. Yep, Mossimo's, Mossimo's definitely a robot or an android. It's the Strega! This is Jude Sutcliffe, Damage Control. Access code R27A3. Strega, respond. Three minutes to explosion. Strega, respond. Can't you hear me? a button to fire a rocket straight ahead? Think back to all your training? 30 seconds to explosion. Would you knock it off? I'm trying to concentrate. Ugh, there's gotta be something I can use. High energy source ahead, radiation increasing. I've got to pick the right one. Oh. Huh. Alright, let's do the top one. This has got to be the one! The Spruce Goose! <laughs> He's proud of- wanted to do this. He's proud of his missiles. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Time to say goodnight. <laughs> I'm probably supposed to pick the S missile because that's the thing we saw the description of in that, on that one computer um, I just want to say something that I've been thinking for a while though that I haven't mentioned I don't under I mean it's probably not even worth thinking about because I'm sure this doesn't make any sense at all the entire game probably doesn't make any sense and I don't think thinking harder about it will solve it it's probably just a very, very bad story, but uh, this this two to a organism it undergoes combustive mutation. It explodes to mutate, so it finds a host 
In this case, it found the host in the Captain, whatever her name was, who's in stasis. And then when she wakes up, it disables all the organelles, destroys them basically, and it also initiates a self-destruction that makes it explode, blowing up the host. What's the point of taking over the host if you just blow up the host? I don't understand. Anyway. So just for fun, let's choose X, which is probably not also not the, um, yeah, yeah, the square is the S missile, which is probably the one we want, but let's use the M missile. See what this one's called. The other one was the Spruce Goose. This has got to be the one. The White Stork. <laughs> the white sword, Ten, spruce goose. Nine, eight, ah. I always wanted to do this. Six, five. Special delivery. He's got a different catchphrase. <laughs> Say goodnight. Special delivery. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Got it! This is the one! A woodpecker! <laughs> also, why doesn't he just fire all the missiles? I don't understand. Why not just fire them all? Ten, nine, eight, seven. Sleeping Beauty is awake. The nightmare is over. Six. What? Five. Nicola, this is for you. Sleeping Beauty is awake and the nightmare is over. destroyed the server and somehow managed to escape. The nightmare is finally over. Tomorrow I'll be returning to Dekt. I hope Yuma learned something positive from this experience. Anyway, Nikola was revived, and that's all that really matters. Really? That's all that matters? And she stopped being the host? Or what? This story makes no sense at all, and this makes no sense as a place to end. It did, what? Uh, well, that was shorter than I thought it would be, but I guess for a sort of, um... I'm using quotes here for a highly cinematic scripted game, I guess it's pretty typical for them to be fairly short. Yeah, what an amazing game. What a bizarre hidden gem. I loved it even though it was obviously really, really bad. 
All right, well, thank you for joining me on my journey through Phase Paradox. I'm going to let the credits roll out now, and I guess we'll see if there's something after the credits. Saving the game one final time? Back to the main menu. Oh, viewer. Was that there before? Is that like, um, you know, art, like special art and stuff that you get after you complete a game? No. Is this to look at cutscenes or something? Oh yeah, I guess it allows you to play through all the different cutscenes. Is there anything new here? Anything special? It's probably just... Wait, no data. Hmm. Surprisingly quite a few things missing down there. I don't know why. 
other pathways that I just never explored. I thought I explored stuff pretty, not exactly exhaustively, but at least better than this. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, well, it looks like that is it. So, thank you for watching.